All right, Shalom. We're going to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakadash. Yahweh is the true, holy, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, Bahasham, meaning in the name. Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, and powerful name of His only begotten Son, who is the Savior of the nation of Israel. Starting off with the elects within the nation of Israel. And Israel consists of your so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as well as your Israelite foreigners scattered abroad that may look like the nations where you've been scattered to, but our Israelites. And we also want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing out this word in all sincerity and the truth. Our other brothers from the Great Millstone branch out in Des Moines, Iowa, coming back at you with another lesson inspired by the Holy Spirit, Harbor Kakudash. And uh, we're in transit, you know, and um, uh, the brother uh, Maliakia, um, he's in the back seat right now, and he, uh, sent this article in the group meet um entitled this is from forbes uh it's entitled they want to put chips inside us kanye west cites debunk anti-vaccine conspiracy theories all right and what you have happening right now is you got a lot of people that are speaking upon uh not only the wickedness of esau eden but specifically uh the rfid chip all right which is the mark of the beast and this guy kanye west came out and spoke about it how the um how the uh covid19 vaccine is a prelude to the mark of the beast which is which that's a that's a fact you know that's a fact and we'll read some of the article but with kanye west he has a reputation for being very uh pretty much being crazy all right a nutcase and um with esau pushing this out the for forefront he's making it seem like those that that are uh with these so-called conspiracy theories which are uh found out to be true are nutcases all right demonizing the truth you know so without further ado we'll read some of this article and whatever points the spirit wants us to bring out lord's will we bring them out Top line, right? It says in an interview with Forbes on Wednesday, rapper Kanye West, who says he's serious about his bid for president, espoused the conspiracy that a coronavirus vaccine could be used to implant microchips into people. Right, and this is what we've been saying through the spirit and power y'all about Shimia was shot. That this vaccine is a, a prelude, all right, to the mark of the beast. As a matter of fact, let's get that pre, uh, that prophecy. Bob okay. shot Revelation thirteen. Revelation thirteen and uh, sixteen. And he, he causeth all, both small and great. All right, who's the he? The he that is speaking of is the rulers of this world. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. He's going to cause all to do what? What's he says, reading? Both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. All right, everybody. Doesn't matter uh, what financial estate you're in. Doesn't matter what your status is in society. He's going to try and make everybody. All right, do what? Go ahead. Is this to receive a mark in the right hand? Or in their forehead Right, so this is the end all be all This is the plan of the elites, okay So all these things that are happening Is a, a prelude to bringing in the RFID chip Which is the mark of the beast You go into the uh, Greek word for mark Alright, it's the Greek word karagma Which means something that's uh, an incision Alright, something that has to be inserted into you You know This is verse And, and that's, that's exactly right, you know Because uh, Esau likes to work through gradualism you know, over the years, hey, hey, look what, look how much he's changed uh, the perspective of uh, of the Israelites, man. And not even that, but but society as a whole. You know, and we see we see uh, we see him ushering in this RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. And along with that, hey, hey, we, we're seeing how they're gradually uh, uh, pu pushing it. You know, and, and working towards it. You know, just now you got a, a bunch of uh, coin shortages. You know, a, a lot of these places that they're, they're short on, uh, on coins, man. They're, they're 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 not using that. A lot of these places have, uh, you know, through through the coronavirus to prevent uh, so-called prevent spreading. You know, they're not using a, uh, uh, they're not they're they're not accepting cash no more. You know, a, 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 everything is being pushed to where it's a, a, a electronic currency. You know, whether it be a, a, you know cash app, Venmo. Uh, you know your your the the little microchip you have on your credit cards and debit cards, so on and so forth, man. Hey, a lot of a lot of you know you used to be able to even go and swipe your credit card. Hey, a, lo a lot of times now you got to insert the chip. You know, right? That's over like a couple of years too, because what they con that's that's goes back to grad uh, gradualism because uh, I remember you know you used to just use money, uh, you know pennies, then money, then uh, checks. You know, after checks, then they went to that swiping card, and after that swiping card, they went to that chip, and that's within a couple couple years of uh, you know of technology, man. That's not even I'm not saying a, a ten year span either, man. That's that was quick. Look at cell phones. 
how uh, uh, they used to have big ass cell phones, but now they have you know the thinnest, the best uh, software they got. Now it is uh, it, they developed that so quickly, man. You know, um, I'll go back on this Revelation 13 and uh, and 17. It says that no man uh, might buy or sell. Right, and if I may add just real quick, because in the book of Daniels, um, it talks about how knowledge shall increase. <laughs> right, so that's uh, that's that shows you like how quickly uh, technology and, and the spread of information is happening uh, so quickly. And that's why these devils are, they're gonna be pushing out this this uh, microchip um, at a very high, uh, high rate, you know, but you can go back. Up it says in Revelation 13 to 17, and that no man might buy or sell, say, uh, save he that had the mark. Right, so no man will be able to buy or sell. You won't be able to uh, um, go to your grocery stores. You won't be able to get goods. Pretty much you'll be ostracized from society if you don't receive the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. So the system has to be created to where everything is functioning off of that, uh, that uh, software. And like the brothers keep explaining, that's gradualism. Every every asset of society can be um, uh, accessed through through this RFID chip uh, technology, man. You know. But go ahead. Uh, it says, um, "He that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name." It says, verse eighteen. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And his number is six hundred three score and six. That's right. Hey, Kai size stigma, man. Okay. Hey, even that um, uh, even that last Greek word for six six six, which is stigma. All right, it goes into uh, go say, go ahead. An incision. Yep, exactly. An incision. You know. So all of these things are lining up to the RFID chip. You know, and that's just plain. But we'll go back. And they do it with the yeah, no, and they do it with work too as well. Like, you know, um, shit. So uh, uh, that's all good. Um, but with work as well, you know, at first you used to what? Write down your uh, your hours. You know, first you used to write down your hours, and, and this is what society is going to, man. They're writing down your hours, then what? Then you had to uh, uh, punch a hole uh, through your uh, time card. Then after what? You go to a computer now to sign in, to punch in your last four, your social, whatever. Then after that, what? They're gonna, they do a, a fingerprint, man. You know, and, and I don't doubt, and I don't doubt pretty soon it's going to be ice scan and then what? The microchip, man. And I, you know, and I don't doubt that because the way uh, technology is, is, is moving, man, it, it, this double can, can, can do it within the, the, the end of this year or next, man, you know? So th that's how fast this, uh, this devil is trying to push this thing out, even though uh, Donald Trump did state and say that he's trying to uh, vaccinate everybody by the end of the year, you know? And that, uh, what is it? Operation Warp Speed? You know, which is uh, that, that devil is, is trying to get it as fast as he can because it says in Revelations uh, 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 11 11, you know, it says, Well, uh, let me well, just, uh, here, Khan, down to you. Khan, let yeah. me just get it real quick. I'm right here. Yeah. 12 Devils 12, 12 and 12, Salakia. It says, do, um, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell of the earth. It says, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath. Because he knoweth he has nothing but a short time. So he's these, these signs, these wonders, man, that Yahweh Bashemel is trying to push throughout the earth. So therefore, he, he knows he has to, he has a little time. So therefore, he wants to, uh, you know, become and have that new world order in this system, man. But when he does, the, uh, when when he's uh, about to do, you know, to, to the belly, uh, belly of his efficiency, the Lord is going to come and, and, you know, and basically take him down out of rulership, man, you know. Yeah, we'll go back to that article of the show. Okay. It says, uh, key facts. It said, hey, and, and this is another, uh, this, this further shows how much of a joke America is, man. You know, here you have a, a Donald Trump, a, a businessman and a, 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 what's it called, a, a reality TV show star is our president. And now you have the likes of Kanye West, which is now uh, supposed to be seriously running for president, man. You know? <laughs> And, 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 and along with that, man, hey, hey uh, like the brother said, hey, the prophet started starting with the apostles of uh, 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 Great Millstone, hey, man, have been pushing this RF, uh, have been pushing the mark of the beast, you know, that, that it's the RFID chip, you know, but now you have somebody like Kanye West that'll say it, and now it's, it, it, it's, it's, uh, 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 it, 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 it'll, it'll be, it'll be accepted by certain people, or now, the, you know, they'll want to agree with him, right, but when the, when, when the, when the meek, you know, when the lowly men bring it out, hey, hey, it's scoffed, man. You know, 
you get made fun of and so on and so forth. But it says key facts. It says uh, West told Forbes West Slack. West told Forbes chief content editor Randall Lane he's been extremely cautious about the coronavirus vaccine, calling it the mark of the beast and declaring they want to put chips inside of us. They want to do all kinds of things to make it to where we can't cross the gates of heaven. You know? Right. Oh, go ahead. No, it's like... Hey, what? Well, hey, and, and really, all right, there's some truth to that. All right, and the reason I say that is because the prophecy says if you receive the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip, well, let's just grab it. Revelation um, 14. Bob, it says Revelation 14. Because once you get the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, there's no repentance from that, man. And that is in the plan of uh, uh, Esau Edom. That's what he wants to do. And, and even though Kanye West is a, a, a damn bugged out Jake, all right, a nutcase, all right, he knows he's an Israelite, all right, he talk, he spoke about the 12 tribes of Judah in a tweet, even though it's the 12 tribes of Israel, but it's just to let you know that he has the knowledge of being an Israelite. And majority of our people are at that point to where they know that they are Israelites, man, but they're trying to make this dude seem bugged out. But what he is saying is is a fact, man. But right. just grab that. And, and, and he's known that we that we are uh, uh, that, that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the true Israelites, man. He's known that for a minute. You know, you have his uh, his old song, Power. You know, hey, no one man shall have all that power. Within that song, he says what? He says, in this white man's world, we're the ones chosen. You know, hey man, he's been knowing. He's been knowing uh, 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 about the Israelites, man. Come. It says Revelations 14 and 9 It says And the third angel followed them Saying with a loud voice If any man worship the beast and his image And receive his mark in his forehead Or in his hand The same shall drink the wine uh, Of the wine of the wrath of the most high Which is poured out without mixture Into the cup of his indignation And he shall be tormented with fire And brimstone In the presence of, the presence of his holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. That's right, man. And that's the second death. So you get that RFID chip, man. Hey, you ain't going to make it on the first go around. Hey, now the, pro the prophecy does say, all right, that all Israel shall be saved. So two-thirds two of our people that do get destroyed gruesomely, all right, it won't be a light thing. Okay, that nuclear fire is nothing to play with, man. The scriptures say in the uh, book of Revelation, it says they do hurt. And that's talking about the missiles, man. Those nuclear missiles. So it's going to be torment, man. All right. But even though... Uh, even though uh, uh, the Lord is going to be destroying uh, two-thirds of our people and so on and so forth, they're still going to uh, come through the loins of the elect, all right, to fulfill prophecy that all Israel shall be saved, but all of them won't be allotted to receive salvation on this side. The scriptures say in the book of 2nd Ezra, the ninth chapter, that they shall dwell in torments, meaning that the Lord is going to jack these niggas up, man, to be plain, you know? So what he was saying is, yeah, hey, you, uh, they're trying to stop you from getting into the, the gates of heaven, all right? They're trying to stop you from getting on uh, getting into the kingdom on that first go-round, man. And what people don't consider, uh, when that scripture says torment, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you would you would think it would be a quick death. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you get fired quick. Nah, man, the Lord can have it to where your body, your spirit is still in your body and you feel every single thing, man. You know? that uh, like, uh, like, I always read that scripture. I'm like, damn, torment. Like, you're going to suffer. That You're going to feel that, man. And that's what these people don't consider man especially these two-thirds that they know that they're israel and they still say what they say that uh, um i don't care i'm still gonna go to the kingdom like <laughs> that's right. bugged out man you know but you keep reading on this uh, article okay. it says uh the remark about chips seem to refer to uh pervasive and debunked conspiracy theories that microsoft founder bill gates is is attempting to implant microchips mm -hmm. into billions of people a coronavirus vaccine right and that is their intent like see they try to make once again they're trying to make him seem he's all bugged out all, all these conspiracy theories but this is straight out of the bible this is what they want to do and this is what they are doing all right they're pushing it niggas is already getting shipped man you got people in sweden getting shipped overseas here in the americas all right they had a whole shipping party but now it's a conspiracy theorist and then they throw out that term to demonize jake but at the end of the day, it's prophecy, man. And the scripture says that the word of the Lord shall not return unto him void, but it shall accomplish in that which he pleases. So it's going to happen. It doesn't matter. Hey, the script, Bible Kusha, Romans chapter uh, 3 and verse, um, uh, start at the top, Bible Kusha. This is Romans 3. Right, man, because you, you, you have certain insiders uh, uh, that, that, that are in cahoots, that were or are in cahoots with these souls that have, that have admitted to these things, man. You 
No. And the Lord is lifting up the skirt uh, of, of this place, man. And he's showing, he's showing, uh, 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 the, you know, this devil's intent. You know, it, it, it says that their own tongues, their own tongues shall fall upon themselves. You know, hey, hey, uh, the, 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 hey, everything that that's being done in secret is is being uh, brought to light, man. You know, all the way from uh, uh, from uh, them being pedophiles, you know, to everything that all all the wickedness that we're doing on Epstein Island. To the microchip, to uh, uh, them spreading chemtrails, uh, to, to to the agenda they've had to eliminate Jake, man. You know, it says Romans three and one. It says, "What advantage then hath the Jew, or what profit is there of circumcision?" Salaki, uh, it might be Romans ten. Try Romans ten and um, um, shall they uh, shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? Yeah, I uh, 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 Romans. Yes, yeah, three. All right, you can uh, keep reading Bible. So, it says, verse two, much every way, chiefly because unto them were committed the oracles of the Most High. Mm -hmm. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? Right. So, what if you think we crazy? All right. What if you think we are conspiracy theorists? All right. What if you think we're a bunch of weirdos or whatever sure. the case may be? All right, well, all right. So, so let's say you think all that. Keep going. It says, uh, verse 4, God forbid. Right, read that from the top Bible. It says, like it. verse 3, it says, the Romans 3 and 3. For what if the, uh, some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? Right, so because you don't believe or because you think we crazy niggas and this and that and the third, is that going to change the fact that the Lord is still going to do these things? All right. Hey, you might not believe that Esau Edom is going to be destroyed, that the Lord hates the so-called white man who are the Edomites, sorry. That's not going to change the fact that the Lord is still going to throw them into captivity. That isn't going to change the fact that they're still going to be destroyed. It's not going to change the fact that the nuclear missiles are going to rain down upon this place just because you don't believe, man. It's going to happen, man. Okay? Verse 4, it says, God forbid. Yeah, yeah, how will forbid, man? All right? His word shall stand. Go ahead. Yeah, let the most high be true, but every man a liar. Right, and the Lord has proven that the rest of you niggas are liars, man. Okay? All these people that are come up coming up against the truth, you're uh you're liars, man. All right, and the Lord is showing forth his might and his power by bringing these prophecies to pass, man. And if you're on the other side of speaking against this truth, all right? <laughs> hey, you're going to be uh, uh hey, you're going to be destroyed ultimately, man, you know? Is it, as said is written, uh, that thou mayest be justified in thy sayings and mayest overcome when thou art judged. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's you it. Know? That's all we need on Because it says in Second Edges, the 15th chapter talks about don't let the incredulity of them trouble thee. You know, and that and if you go into that word incredulity, uh, incredulity, that means unbelief. You know, so back what with the brother was saying, just because somebody don't believe, maybe some people think we're crazy. Some people think that uh, uh we you, some people even think that we come up uh you know we come with this uh by ourselves no man it comes by the uh spirit of yahweh bashimi i was shy man the uh the spirit of yahweh bashimi i was shy is the spirit of prophecy man you know so everything's coming to pass according to he, what he has written man and that's what's about to come man you know it says uh conspiracy theories of microsoft founder bill gates is attempting to implant microchips into billions of people through a coronavirus vaccine you know, and, and they, uh, uh, like the brother you called, like bringing out, hey, what was it, like 10 years ago? 10 years ago, he yeah, had a TED talk, talk, you know? Hey, hey talking about, uh, uh, well, well you, you, you go ahead, uh, you know? Yeah, Khan, uh, he, in 2010, he did a TED talk where he spoke about, uh, the topic was on uh, population control. And what he was saying is that uh, we need to decrease the population because of uh, CO2 emissions. You know all that bullshit that Esau be saying to justify killing everybody. But what he said was to reduce the population, what they would have to do is uh, uh, use vaccines and programs like Planned Parenthood, you know. But he said that 10 years ago that they're going to use vaccines, all right, to uh, depopulate. And here it is. He's the main, um, the main catalyst of pushing out these uh, vaccinations, man. So did, did that change? Now all of a sudden vaccines are good for you when 10 years ago he was saying that they needed to be used to, uh, to depopulate the world? No, man, he's got the same agenda, all right? And they're throwing it right in your face, man. That's 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 plain to see, you know? Yeah. Hey, and even uh, what, the Georgia Guidestones, you know, talk about the uh, maintaining population at a certain number, you know, and, and, and all this is synonymous, man, the way that they're trying to do it, these vaccines, the RFID chip, you know? And, and 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 really, you know that that that's the 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 focus on the lesson, man. Is that chip, you know? Because that's what's coming, man. And we see it, 
We see it, man. You know, you got a, a Jake with Apple Watch where they could just go up and, and, and scan their watch and pay for stuff or, or tap their phone, you know, to the screen and just boop, you know. Hey, man, but, 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 but things are going to get horrible out here, man. And that's going to be the only way uh, to be able to operate with, with an Esau society, you know. So can, I get, on the, like it. can I get something real quick? It says Psalms 55 and 21. The words of his uh, mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, but yet they were draw swords, man. You know, I brought that out. Why? Because these people uh, uh, like Bill Gates, they're trying to give you the benefit of what it is, man. They're trying to give you the sweetness of, you know, uh, sweet talk you, man, and tell you, you know, what's going to be good for your kids. You know, it's going to be good for your pets. It's going to be good for uh, 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 for whatever you need and more convenient. So when this devil presents it to you, it's going to be like the best thing you've ever seen in your life. But guess what? It's to your destruction, like Kanye West was even saying, man. He says, you're not going to be able to get into heaven, man. You know, and like the brother said, there was some truth to that, you know. It says, and that Dr. Anthony Fauci said every American should be microchipped. Mm -hmm. Kanye West also seemed to make reference to another disproven conspiracy theory that Bill Gates tested a polio vaccine in India and paralyzed nearly 500,000 children, <laughs> saying so many of our children that are being vax, uh, saying so many of our children that are being vaccinated and paralyzed. All right. And that's, and that's facts, man. You know, that's facts. You know, uh, uh, you, you you got a bunch of kids, hey, that, 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 that were completely fine and healthy, you know, playing and, and, and what, hey, that they'll go get vaccinated for certain uh, uh, diseases that this devil requires your children to have. And based off that, they develop what? A hey, autism, uh, 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 certain schizophrenia, man. You know, uh, uh, all, all, all these uh, uh, wicked diseases, man. You know, and, 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 and some, uh, hey, man, uh, uh, so some lead, lead to death, you know. Mm -hmm. And then really, you could just read that next paragraph, and that's really pretty much the point on it. It says these theories could have a dangerous impact on public health with an Associated Press NORC poll, NORC poll in May finding that just 50 percent of Americans would definitely get a coronavirus vaccine. Right. And that's what you see happening once again, going to the point that. If you don't receive these things, you're going to be uh, ostracized from society. And you already see it now. Our, our prime example is with these masks. Now, when you walk around without a mask, and I know this was especially when we went out in, uh, when we went uh, to Chicago. I wouldn't say it's the same atmosphere here, but when you aren't wearing a mask in certain uh, areas, hey, they're looking at you crazy. You know, we went to one restaurant, me and a few of the other brothers out there. We went to one restaurant. All right. Uh, we came in. We went there. They told us to put on our mask. So we went to the car, got some masks, put it on, went in the restaurant. So then I remember I had slipped my mask down. All right. Just to talk. And then the lady, she was like, hey, put on your mask. You know, look at hey, looking at me crazy because I didn't have my mask. Well, how much more when they're saying that, oh, you didn't get your vaccine. You're going to be looked at crazy. You're going to be ostracized. You're going to be looked at as a as a terrorist, man. OK, you've got people that are saying that. Um, and even uh, one of Trump's lawyers, he had mentioned you have every right to refuse a vaccine. All right. If it only affects you. But if it's a virus that affects other people around you, you have no right to refuse it. And that was Trump's lawyer, man, that said that. So he's letting it be known that it's uh, unconstitutional, so to speak, to not or to refuse the vaccine. OK. So that's what they're going to be doing. You're going to be completely ostracized from society. And that's why the scriptures talk about how we're going to be pilgrims upon the earth, man. Mm -hmm. And when it's uh, the examples of the men of the Lord that were on the run for not bowing down to the image of Baal, man. Not down bowing down to this beast system, man. In that book of Revelation, the 13th chapter, if we would have read up a few ver verses, it talks about how he had power to kill him, to kill them that did not worship the beast. So that's going to be his mentality. Well, you don't want to get these vaccines. You don't want to get this microchip, which is the RFID chip. Well, we're going to put you to death. All right. Or you won't be able to have easy access to your food and your and, and so on and so forth, man. You know, and a lot of people are going to see how this devil really is, because a lot of still a lot of people are still asleep. You know what I'm saying? But uh, ultimately, they're going to see how this he's going to show his true horns, man. You know, especially they got to remember that he's still it's still under a state of emergency. So technically, he, he a dictator. He could do whatever he wants. Your amendments and your rights are revoked, man. You know, they make you think that, hey, you know, you do still have a little bit of rights here. But now, ultimately, you don't. When it comes down to force, you don't have any rights, man. When martial law breaks out, you have no rights, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so this devil's going to make you do it, man. If not, you're going to be put to death, mm -hmm. you know. So, I mean, ultimately, <laughs> like, like I said again, this devil is going to show his real horns and what this devil is really about, man. That's right. That's you know. Right. 
You can finish up that uh, paragraph, Baba Kasha. It says, uh, the the poll in May finding that just 50% of that, Salakia, finding that just 50% of Americans would definitely get a coronavirus vaccine, mm -hmm. you know? And, and that's a lot through, uh, 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 that's pushed through fear, man. You know, because a lot of these people are afraid. That's what Esau plays on. It says numbers at Harvard uh, epidemiology professor Mark Lipstitch told Forbes would certainly make containment harder. That was it on that? Con. On that paragraph, con, con. <laughs> Your brother said anything? I mean, because I just wanted to say one thing. This Because I watched a, a movie last night. It's called The Bye-Bye Man. This nigga is the bye-bye man. With more fear you put upon people, this this nigga becomes bigger and bigger and bigger and, and scares everybody else, man. And that's what's gonna ha that's what's happening right now with this dude, man. You know? Right. That's their power, man. You know that that's their powers that they play they play on the fear through the power that they got. You know, and, and, and when these people realize really that that they're not the ones to be feared, what does that scripture say? It says, "Is this the man who made the nations uh, uh, to tremble?" <laughs> you know? Hey, man. Hey, they, they, they're weak as hell, man. You know? But what makes them what, what makes them powerful is their technology, man. And the Lord gave it to him. So the Lord's going to come back and destroy this place, take his crowns, man, and set up his marvelous kingdom, man. Mm -hmm. You That's know? Right. And so having that being said, we're going to give all praises to, to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakadash. The honors to the elders and apostles of Great Mills on her rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful of the light, pushing out this word in all sincerity and the truth. With that, we're going to say Shalom. Shalom. Hey, shalom.